The Royce family could breathe a sigh of relief if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle do not return to the UK for Prince Philip's memorial, an expert has claimed. The Queen has agreed for a service of thanksgiving to be held at Westminster Abbey, to commemorate her late husband's life. While a date has not yet been set, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were likely to appear on the guest list given that Prince Harry flew home for Prince Philip's funeral in April last year. Meghan didn't attend, as she was pregnant with her daughter Lilibet and was advised not to travel by doctors. The couple's attendance has since been thrown into question since the Duke of Sussex raised concerns over security fears for himself and his family, saying they are unable to return to the UK. But royal expert Ingrid Seward claims that the family may be relieved if the couple decides not to attend, as she says the event may turn into the Harry and Meghan show. Ms. Sewer told Fabulous, I think if they choose not to come then everyone will breathe a sigh of relief. It is Thanksgiving for Prince Philip and we don't want it turning into the Harry and Meghan show. Royal biographer Phil Dampier told The Sun that it wouldn't surprise him if the couple didn't return to the UK for the service, suggesting the issue of a security issue provides a good excuse. But he added that Prince Harry might come because it looks good from a PR point of view. He will be criticized if he does come and criticized if he doesn't, he will look disrespectful to his grandfather who he was very fond of, so Harry may come but I'd be very surprised if Meghan does. He added, in the current climate flying about for one-off events isn't a very good look, I think if, the memorial visit, was combined with a few days and a serious attempt to sit down with his brother and father and try and talk things through, you can see the point, but I don't get the impression that anyone is ready to heal the rift. Prince Harry has raised concerns over his family's security were they to visit the UK, after claiming that his request for police protection was denied. A legal representative for Prince Harry released a statement claiming that the royal had offered to pay for his own protection in January 2020 but the offer was dismissed. The 37-year-old royal wanted to pay for his own protection so as not to impose on the British taxpayer. As a result, Prince Harry has said the Sussexes are unable to return to the UK. In a statement, his legal representative said, Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not, nor has the threat to him and his family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection within the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return home.